everyone! Today we'll be discussing how menopause can impact the heart. Although we are covering some of the basic information regarding this topic, I wanted to let you know that a longer presentation on this topic is posted on the YouTube channel. Thus, if you would like to know even more about this issue, you can access that webinar on Dr. Kernew's channel. Also, it is important to communicate with your family doctor if you ever plan on making any sorts of changes that may impact your health. Without further ado, let's begin. I wanted to start by explaining what menopause is exactly. Menopause is the term used when women's ovaries no longer make eggs. It is also the time when a woman's body starts to produce less of the hormone estrogen, and women no longer have a menstrual cycle. Research has shown that women usually begin menopause at around the age of 51. However, this process can occur earlier or later for some women. It is important to note that menopause occurs over time and is completely natural. Usually, women will experience symptoms such as hot flashes, tiredness, palpitations, muscle pain, fatigue, poor concentration, low mood, anxiety, and vaginal dryness. Being that women's bodies differ so greatly, the amount, severity, and length of sy symptoms can vary. We previously mentioned that menopause is characterized by a marked decrease in estrogen levels, so let's explore this further. Estrogen normally plays an important role in the functioning of the heart, blood vessels, bones, skin, and the vagina. So all of these structures are impacted by a decreased production of estrogen. One of the ways estrogen helps protect the arteries is by reducing the buildup of fatty plaque. So this means that after menopause, you're at an increased risk of circulatory disease, and we'll be talking about this more later. Another effect of a drop in estrogen is hypertension, so when estrogen levels drop, blood vessels become stiffer and less elastic, and this tends to cause a rise in blood pressure and put a strain on your heart. Aside from hypertension, heart palpitations is another symptom women undergoing menopause may experience. Heart palpitations are irregular heartbeats or arrhythmias, and once again, this is a result of low estrogen levels, and in this case, it leads to overstimulation of the heart and can be linked to an increase in heart rate. Palpitations are usually more noticeable than regular heartbeats, so you may notice your heart pounding, fluttering, racing, or breathing irregularly. However, these symptoms are usually harmless and often short-lived, lasting from anywhere between a few seconds and at worst to a few minutes. Although palpitations are usually harmless, it's important to take note of your symptoms. If you are concerned about your heart palpitations, it's best to visit a doctor to discuss any abnormalities that may have arisen, and these may include shortness of breath, dizziness, or chest discomfort. Menopausal females who experience irregular heartbeats are often treated using natural methods and lifestyle changes, and these may include reducing caffeine intake, cutting back on or avoiding stimulants such as cigarettes and alcohol, as well as practicing relaxation techniques such as yoga, mindfulness, and breathing exercises. As mentioned, there are a lot of hormonal changes in your body which occur during menopause. These changes can obviously affect your heart function, which is why menopause has been found to be linked with an increased cardiovascular risk. When it comes to cardiovascular risk, the age of onset of menopause, the type of menopause, the stage of menopause, as well as the resulting symptoms of menopause are all relevant factors. When it comes to age, evidence has demonstrated that early onset menopause is linked with a higher risk of overall and fatal coronary heart disease, as well as heart failure. A pooled meta-analysis of 32 studies involving th over 300,000 women conducted in 2016 reports that women younger than 45 years of age had a significantly higher risk of overall coronary heart disease. Furthermore, in a meta-analysis pooling data from three prospective studies that includes about 3,568 3, heart failure events, has shown that compared with women with later onset of menopause, women who experience early menopause, again, at an age younger than 45 years old, had a significantly greater risk of heart failure. Next, studies have also shown that the type of menopause is also relevant. In women who have had bilateral oophorectomy or the surgical removal of the ovaries with no replacement estrogen therapy, 
there's a higher risk of also developing coronary heart disease. However, the literature is a bit more complex, as other studies has, have also shown that this association might not exist. Next, the stage of menopause might also be a relevant factor. A cross-sectional analysis of 2,037 women aged 44 to 55 at different stages of menopause had reported that women in late menopause also have a higher uh, systolic and diastolic blood pressure. And this is relevant because higher blood pressure is known to be a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. Lastly, it's been reported that symptoms of menopause such as vasomotor symptoms or what you might know as hot flashes or those night sweats that you have during menopause, as well as other symptoms of menopause are significantly linked with an increased risk of developing coronary heart disease, stroke, or cardiovascular disease. Furthermore, studies have shown that poor sleep quality have also been linked to an increased risk of calcification of the aorta, one of the main arteries in the body. This is problematic as it can result in narrowing of the aorta, which can result in an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Finally, as we mentioned, low mood is one of the most notable features of menopause. Studies have shown that depressive symptoms which occur during menopause are also strongly linked to an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Now, these are just some factors in which menopause can change your risk of cardiovascular disease, but it's important to note that the literature has not fully clarified why these associations exist, and we're still trying to discover exactly what we should be doing when it comes to treating women with menopause and reducing their risk of cardiovascular disease. Now, to end off the presentation, we wanted to answer the question, what can women do to address this issue? Well, research has shown that if an individual continues to follow a healthy lifestyle prior to and during menopause, their risk for heart disease and stroke is lower. So women should prioritize regular exercise and overall good nutrition. A healthy diet should include things like fruits and vegetables, whole grains, low-fat dairy products, while limiting things like red meat and sugary foods and beverages. In terms of exercise, it is recommended that women should try to reach 150 minutes of physical activity a week to help prevent heart disease. However, it is important to note that this can vary based on an individual's own health parameters, so make sure you check in with your family doctor. Good methods of exercise include walking, swimming, and or cycling, to name a few. It's also important to eliminate any unhealthy habits, such as smoking and vaping, which may lead to early menopause and increase the risk of blood clots, among other health risks. It is also important to highlight that an active and healthy lifestyle does not discriminate between genders. It is important that both men and women focus on making healthy changes in accordance with their family doctor. If you're wanting to start your health journey or learn some tips on how to improve your health, be sure to check out the other videos on this channel. Thank you so much for listening.